Happy New Year, everybody. What do you do when you have some beautiful red potato? Put them in the water, and uh, you can make anything with this. Come into my kitchen. I'm going to show you what we do. Happy New Year, everybody. New Year's Eve today. Welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host, Pasquale. I'm sorry I did not have time to put videos in the last couple of weeks, but... We're gonna make a beautiful treat that as a kid, we used to love this. This is just simple potato, the red potato, they're very nice. I just boiled them, now they're ready. We're going to clean up the skin, take the skin off. And then we are making potato croquette. Le, le croquette di patate, that my mom used to make all the time. We're making the traditional recipe. So a lot of, a lot of times now they change that. They put a, you know mozzarella, they put cheese in it. We are, what we're going to use is the two egg yolk, we have breadcrumbs, we have flour, we have a mix of three quarter of Parmigiano Reggiano and one quarter of Pecorino Romano. I don't have fresh parsley, so I'm using the dry one, a little salt, a little pepper, and that's about it, and the potatoes. So, let me get a knife and we'll start. So, see... Why you cook them in the skin is because this way the moisture, the, the, uh, the skin, the, the potato stays compact. And you, because when you cook it without the, the skin, what happens? It gets really saturated with, uh, with the, uh, this is still real hot. I'm touching it and it's hot. So, and what happens is, as you take the skin off, You need the potato to be a little bit on the dry side. You don't want them too wet because you need to do this all nice compact. Mix them with, with the egg, with the flour, with the cheese, salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna put them over here. Okay, so let me wash my hands, I'll be right back. So now the potatoes still nice and warm. We have to keep them warm. We have to work when they warm. This is one kilo of potato. If you guys don't have one of these, buy it on Amazon. Very easy. I got the LH, LHS, LHS brand. It's, um, I paid $22. I just bought it actually because I didn't have one. I used to use the fork, but uh, you know, mom used to use this. You can put the whole potato in here and then just mash it good. Let's see how nice it looks. Put it in. There we go. This is a great tool. Mom used to use this all the time. So in the meantime, I wanted to tell you that uh, I checked the status on my YouTube channel and I noticed I have 984 subscribers. So it would mean so much to me if you guys share and spread the word that maybe before midnight tonight I get to a thousand. It will be such a great accomplishment for myself. Uh, if you guys can help me, I will be appreciated. I appreciate it very much. And uh, listen, any support is great. But if I could get to get to 1,000 subscribers tonight will be great. I need 16, 16 people. So I hope you guys can help. So let's do this. Let me break. We only need two yolks. So one kilo of potato, we need two yolks. All right, so yolk, we're gonna just mix it up with just a little, beat them up a little. And we're going to pour it into the potato. Okay. I'll show you where the other egg's going to go. So, a little pepper. The pepper is how do you like? Whatever you like. If you like pepper, you put a little bit. A little bit of salt, not much, because the salt, we, we're going to have. The cheese here that is going to be perfect for the salt. 
I mean, he had a little bit of parsley. He's dry parsley. I'm sorry, guys. I did not get a chance to go out to the store. You can use fresh parsley. So. Now, the cheese, formaggio. Formaggio is beautiful. And now we're going to mix all this together. The most important thing is do it nice and slow and fold it almost like you're folding it because you don't want to get this too mushy now you're going to see you're going to feel the consistency of this uh in, you know mix of potatoes and cheese if you feel that it's a little wet just add a little more cheese in it it, not, it will not hurt believe me so i need my hands to be a little moist so that's all you do now you get like a piece like this not too big not too not too small so and you're making the potato croquette the way you like it you can make it a cylinder like this you can make it the ball you can make whatever you like so we put it in the flour just one time like this then we're gonna put it in the eggs that I did not even beat yet so let me do this <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna dunk it in the egg. You can use your hand or you can use the fork, whatever you like. Then we put it in the breadcrumbs. Make sure that it gets done nice. And voila. And we're gonna put them right here. And this is the rest. And this is our potato croquette. In Italian, le, le crocchette di patate. Just enough eggs and breadcrumbs, so now they're getting all attached together. Make sure you get it nice, and that's it. Beautiful. Okay, guys, we're back. I have my little tegamino, small, because the best trick to do this is like a few at a time, like two at a time will be better, and the oil is already working. And we're gonna put a couple of the time in here. And you know, you guys are not gonna see the whole thing because I'm gonna cook them. But this is the way it is. I'll show you the first two when they come out. And then you're gonna be able to see the rest when it's done. But once you cook them, it becomes nice and golden. Beautiful, that's all you need. This is Mamma Maria. Crocchette di patate. They don't break, they don't open. They're amazing. And then when you eat, you, 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 you they're crunchy on the outside and it's so beautiful, moist inside. yourself a dish with a little paper towel on it let this go down a little and then pour it put it right there see guys beautiful okay look guys beautiful potato croquette le patate le croquette di patate made like my mom used to make. Let me see. This is a little warmer. 
So come closer, because I want to show you how it looks when you open it. Mm -mm. Oh, so this is my last video of 2022. I'm gonna taste this. I'm gonna break it for you. Look at that. Look at that. How wonderful this is. Mamma mia, look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Perfect flavor. Just the right amount of cheese. A little pepper. It's a potato, guys. But made this way, especially for kids, even the adults, of course. The adults love it. But the kids will love this. Love this. Mm-mm. Patate. Potato croquette. Maron. The croquette di patate italiane. Mm. Oh my goodness. So good. Delicioso. I can wait that my wife try this. So, I know this doesn't really go. That's my homemade lemon jello. I wanna say chin chin. I wanna say salute to all of you that watch me. And even the one that didn't watch me, to everybody. I love everybody, so. And happy new year and a healthy for everybody. And hopefully we have a wonderful 2023. Stay well, stay safe, be careful tonight. If you go out, watch it. And salute everybody. Happy New Year. Ah, wonderful. I'll see you next year. Ciao a tutti.